in the heart of the West Nile region, a silent revolution is taking place. A revolution that recognizes the critical role nurturing care plays in a child's early development. This is the story of the nurturing care framework a comprehensive approach designed to give our youngest generation the best possible start in life. Behind this movement is the government and its development partners, working through non-government organizations like Save the Children, the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development to operationalize the nurturing care framework. Through this approach, the aim is to create an environment where children between the ages of 0 and 3 can thrive physically, mentally and emotionally. This three-year project which started uh, around October 2020 was meant to support the country in being able to institutionalize nurturing care, which is part of the early child development initiatives. And the idea here, this project is mainly pushing the idea of building babies' children's brains. And uh, it was co-named in Uganda, Boosting for the Young. And basically, the main purpose here is to make sure that um, babies, as they grow, you remember when babies are growing, between the age of zero to three years, their brain develops up to 80%. And that moment of zero to three years, is regarded as a golden window. The project is in three districts, that is uh, Madio, Kolo, Terego, and Yumbe, and in the three settlements, that is uh, Bidibidi Refugee Settlement, and Rhino Kam Refugee Settlement, and uh, Mvepi Refugee Settlement, and Omugo Extension, of course. So the project has been utilizing the government officials. We have master trainers at the national level. We have five master trainers. Then these master trainers came down to the district, to the three districts, and trained the 14 TOTs at the district level, and the 14 TOTs came down to the community and and train 176 uh, frontline workers. In turn, front these frontline workers went and trained uh, 32,000 uh, caregivers on nurturing care. This program, which is on building babies' brains or supporting babies' brains, looks at both physical stimulation of this physical growth of these babies' brains and bodies, and the mental health, but also the social aspects. And we have several domains or areas or spheres where, in a, where we work through to achieve this. We have a major sphere, which is well known, the health, because we are concerned about illness. Illness affects this baby's growth, they regress, so it's very important to keep these babies healthy. NBA supports us a lot in a way that they do growth monitoring when we are overloaded with work, there are days that you may be well on duty, but when you are overloaded, they support us. Even if you are not overloaded, they still love some mothers always at their corner to give them health education about breastfeeding, correct positioning and, and attachment. More so for the first time as that is, those are the mothers who are having babies for the first time. So that means there is a great change in the community brought about by the MBA corner. The mothers are able to go to the health center when it's still early, like one month. And that one, we have seen that it is a great change. Mothers who had children with a disability, they didn't want to take those children into public. But right now they are able to, to go with them into public because 
we said children who have disabilities are supposed to be supported fully. The other area concerns learning, being able to stimulate the babies to learn. And when I talk about learning, I'm not talking about academic learning. To stimulate the brain to learn and also stimulate the brain growth of the network of the brain, the neural development or the neural expansion of the child's brain. So that in the future, when they start going to school, they have set a very good foundation for them. The other area is about responsive care. For this to happen, the mothers must be trained or the caregivers trained and also supported to be able to, respons to be responsive to the baby's needs. They have to be trained about the importance of stimulating these babies, playing with them, talking to them, make sure that they also promote the child's brain. But also, we are also interested in supporting their welfare. We learned about how to take care of the children. One, you have to be close to the child, like taking time with the child, playing with the child, like after playing you also motivate the child. Anything that the child does, you have to motivate the child, you appreciate the child so that the child also gets courage that whatever, whatever I'm doing is okay. Coming back home, you have to, you have to come with some sweets, you give him or her, like also when you are away, you reach your at home at night, you have to first hug the child you, so, that to, so that the child is being loved. And the, and the other way, like providing the basic needs of the child, where you provide the basic need, needs, education, medication, you provide the shelter for the child, and so forth. We also have uh, a parameter which looks at uh, security and safety of these babies. And I can assure you, children who are displaced are one of the vulnerable populations in terms of safety. And then the last one, which is also very, very important, is the nutrition. Because these neurons, as they grow, they need to be fed. The body has to be fed because I talked about physical growth, but also the neurons have to be fed. So the type of food you eat, both in terms of macro content, micro content, is very unique for the brain growth and very important rather. Now, Murta, Kuna Prozik, Najon, Alumudina, Asan Perona. Nali sana kuden kuden ngolungu kekele, lakini tina dena na todi tina dena kekele na kongo na yam. Tina dena na getenge ba dea kwata ku etilo na kuda kuden kuruju na jadi ku yiku kuruju. Na beri na kuden na di kuden ngolu etu la ta etu hinda kumba ngini madongara hindi beri, lakini tina di gete na yudu na boku mole si nyonga na moran gris kenga na di change in utlo kenga klo bangi tiki na jadi tonga jike kenga klo kuruju aloke. Yala nete ngona nete nete ngona kaman kodo na bobo ngole nete dingu le kilo sessions lakini turumenta si toru nyala tiki ndana yasa gedi na ge abongo kule kilo kansa laski ne ponda yasa menta i iriani tiki ndana abongo gedi. Thank you.
as we reach the resolution of our documentary, the significance of adopting the nurturing care framework becomes clear. It's not just about the children of today, it's about shaping the generations of tomorrow. Our partners, stakeholders and communities are united by a common goal, to see nurturing care embedded in every aspect of a child's life. But that's not all. Our journey takes us to the realm of policy where we explore the urgent need for government support. By incorporating the nurturing care framework into policy, we ensure a brighter future for every child. From the early stages of life to the realms of policy, the Boost for the Youngest initiative beckons us to invest in the potential of every child, fostering a generation that is nurtured, loved and empowered. This project was able to, to do a number of interventions in the health facilities. One is that uh, it, it strengthened the capacity of our health workers to, to identify these children through the, the community structures. Because the community structures are also some of the structures that where the training was done and these assessments are done and the children that, uh, that, that, that were identified were referred to services. Those that can be referred for services to, to refer on health facilities uh, in the valley. We want to pledge as a, a district, we will uphold what uh, Save the Children has brought for us and we will integrate this program into our existing systems because this is like a systems strengthening. So we want to appreciate uh, Save the Children so much because this has gone a long way in addressing government, uh, supplementing the government efforts, especially in the ECD at the foundation level. So the, the coming of uh, Dubai Cares has gone a long way in the district in addressing this. It has gone in building the capacity of, one, our technical education members this has gone along building capacity of the head teachers, building the capacity of the sub-county officials in that area uh, of ECD. We have been working with Save the Children for quite some time and they have supported us in the area of education, especially ECD and also infrastructure. Currently, as a district, we have 118 ECD centers, both in the settlement and in the host community. Uh, but specifically, Save the Children is supporting us in uh, Zone 5 uh, in, in a number of ECD centers. And uh, with the new ECD policy 2016, we are talking about having integrated ECD services and with the support of Save the Children in most of these centers a number of uh, programs and activities have been implemented to ensure that uh, the services we deliver are really integrated and really we don't work in isolation. As we conclude this journey, we'll leave you with a powerful truth. Nurturing care is more than just a framework. It's a promise, a commitment to a better future, one child at a time.